Our Heavenly Father, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, that will be done in our lives as it is in heaven. Holy righteous Father, as we go into your world, we know that the entrance of your word giveth light. My God, I begin to pray that your word will bring light in our hearts as we enter into your word, as we study your word today. Speak to us, transform us, and make us what you want us to be. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Yeah, my brethren, uh, we are going to continue where we stopped last week, as I informed us. I, just a little overview. Remember, two weeks ago, we started on a journey and that journey was on signs of the end signs of the end we were exploring the word of the lord jesus about the end so we gave an introductory speech on signs of the end so after that we talked about the word of the lord jesus that says Take heed so that no one would deceive you because that is very, very important if you want to understand signs of the end. So we explored that. Then last week, we touched another aspect of the end time by exploring manifestation of the sons of God. manifestation of the sons of god in this end time what does it mean that the sons of god are going to show up what are they showing up for because the creation is waiting for them to show up because our generation is working on the surface of the earth at a crucial moment like this therefore the lord says my sons including men and women my sons my daughters they are going to show up they are going to demonstrate my power in their generation and we started exploring a category of people that will not show up, that cannot demonstrate the power of God. People that walk in the flesh. People that their lives time, they want to please the flesh. They cannot surface. They cannot show up. They cannot demonstrate the power of God. Because of what? Because it is written. They that are in the flesh cannot please God. That's why they cannot manifest the glory of God. I, I, I want to highlight something again to you, my friends. It is not strange for believers to begin to say, hey, the miracles that apostles witness in the book of Acts of the Apostles, why are we not seeing it in America? Why are we not seeing it in Europe? Why are we not seeing it in Africa, Asia, all over the world? How many dead people are raised? How many blind people see in the common church services? Where do we go and then we find the same demonstration of God's power? The answer is there in the scriptures. Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forevermore. Our God has not changed. It is humanity that has changed. If there is any impedance or hindrance or obstacle, it is for the church, the children of God, to think through and to process and to deal with. Therefore, the Lord is saying, I have a program for the end time. I have a program for your generation. The king, I want to let you know something before I forget this message. I was on my knees here praying. And when it was 5.44 p.m., I got this message, which 
I was told, share this thing with my people. The message is this. The Lord says he is looking for men and women that will lay all at the altar. You want to say, Lord, I'm dropping everything at the altar. I don't have any other alternative. You are my first. You are my last alternative. We are going to see what that means as we go into our discussion today. So, we have discussed that when we live in the flesh, we will die. When we live in the spirit and we mortify the deeds of the flesh, we shall live. The question is now, what does God expect from us? I want you to understand something. That for you now to say, I don't want to walk in the flesh. I don't want to live in the flesh. God wants you to listen to the opposite of living in the flesh is what? living in the spirit or walking in the spirit let's read the bible the book of uh, john chapter 6 john 6 6 3 i read it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profited nothing the words that i speak unto you they are spirit and they are life that's the word of the master. The spirit of God makes alive, quicken. Do you want to be used of God in this end time? Do you want God to use you to heal the sick? Do you want God to use you to draw people to himself? Do you want God to use you to be a blessing to the poor and the needy? Do you want God to help you to be a, a blessing to your neighbor, a blessing to your generation, blessing to anybody? The Bible says you have to learn that it is the Spirit of God that can make it possible.